Welcome to Carl's Aquarium. Evil puppy Bailey at all. <laughs> Okay, now I looked at this about five, ten minutes ago and it was still like it was joined almost like you could see that it was starting to separate and I thought, oh yeah, it's going to take a while, it's going to take a while. So I went around catching some hermit crabs and stuff like that and then I looked back at it and it's like, oh wow, it's almost separated. So I quick run up and got the camera and I brung her down and because uh, normally I see them after they've divided but I don't normally see them divide. Now I have a unique uh, system here where I don't have to worry about them infesting the rest of my tank because when they this is a raceway that's fed, and so they got lots of algae because uh, I don't clean it much. And uh, I'm trying to grow them so that I got food for uh, harlequin shrimps. But uh, if they escape from the raceway, <laughs> they land in the tank with the puffers and the trigger. <laughs> yeah, not too much to worry about uh, getting an infestation as during a starfish. Uh, situation pretty much takes care of itself so I don't know how long this is going to take uh, I wish I would have started the camera five minutes ago because that would have been cool it's like when I first started, those two sections were still fairly close together uh, up at the top. You see where there's that U-shaped opening? So, uh... Yeah. That's what I mean. There's where the water overflows out of the raceway. And happy, happy, happy! Poppers and triggers and... Stuff. We had a person asking today about how the uh, Hawaiian red shrimp are doing. We've now had them for maybe more than two years, maybe, I don't know. I know it was a long time at the house of death they were there. And then this fish room here has been set up for a year because when I first met Fritzy, when the power went off at the house of death and uh, that situation came to an end. You know, stop paying the hydro bill, uh, it's time to move on. Even though we didn't have to pay for hydro, well, can't run a business without hydro. But, um, oh, yeah. Right. We've moved apart even more. As you can tell, they were getting pretty big. Like there's one starfish. Uh, it's time to divide and carry on. But for the Hawaiian red trim, I bought 12. I still got 12. But I ain't got no babies. And I don't know what. So now what I'm trying to do is fluctuate the salinity. Uh, yeah, I kept adding fresh water, fresh water, fresh water till the tank was full. And uh, then I put the tank to half today. And then we'll add fresh water, fresh water till they're in completely fresh water. And then we'll start adding salt. And 
Maybe the fluctuating temperature, the salinity will get them going. There's not much left holding them two together. I wonder if they just kind of pull and separate and pull and separate and pull and separate. But you can see how the U's a lot bigger now. It's almost like they're twisting. Let's do the twist. Let's do the twist. Well, I ain't quite like Chubby Checker. He could sing. I can't. Oh yeah, that's the only difference. He could sing, I can't. So, we're heading off to Florida Keys. But don't worry, Psycho and Evil and Aaron's mother will be living here, so... If anybody breaks in, we've instructed her to clean up the blood because, well, you guys know all about evil. She smiles while she shows her big, big teeth. Why, my belly? What big teeth do you have? Arr. She doesn't like it if I yell at the boy. She growls at me, and I pay for her dog food. But apparently German Shepherds are noted for being a little overprotective of their boys. Or their girls. Oh. Huh. That was on the outside. We're getting close. Okay, I'm going to see if I can find something thinner. Okay, got something thinner. Those guys are pulling apart fast. Fall out of bed, Susie in my head, just like Sunday night. Oh, you make me smile. Every time I tote manure up the hill, I think of you kicking cow dung off your boots and telling me your truth. You left me in the springtime, yes, you left me behind. So when I fertilize the garden, your face is on my mind. When you're gone, girl, your resting place will really be a sight. Lots of flowers, real pretty, lots of trees to shade the light. It won't be cause I love you or because I made it so. It's because of what you made of, girl, that makes the garden grow. Oh, every time I tote manure up the hill, I think of you. 
Kicking cow dung off your boots and telling me your truth. You left me in the springtime, yes, you left me behind. So when I fertilize the garden, your face is on my mind. I look out o'er the fields, I see the cows are eating grass. Girl, you know I'd love to kiss your moo. No, kick your moo. And I see your dirty shower, sh no, I see your stockings hanging on the shower curtain rod. I can't touch them for fear of the hairy legs the day was wore upon. I get a little mixed up in my verses. Oh, and you're gone, girl, your resting place will really... Oh, yeah, I did that one already. So every time I told manure up the hill, I think of you. They're almost done. Kicking cow dung off your boots and telling me you're true. You left me in the springtime, yes, you left me behind. So when I fertilize the garden, your face is on my mind. Wow, that went way, way faster than I thought it was going to do. Like they're almost done. That's it! Yay! They won! They won! <laughs> that was cool! Wow. That's the first time I've ever watched it. Huh. Alright, well, happy and wonderful day to you all, and goodbye.